Last year, I used my business to donate over $7,000 worth of products to local organizations in my community. Hi, I'm Whitney Klein. Today, I'm going to share with you five tips on how to run a successful fundraiser and make a difference in your community. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Step one, who are you donating to? Find an organization that has meaning to you, a place that you want to make a difference in. Is it a domestic violence shelter in your area? Is it a healthcare worker? Is it teachers that you want to donate teacher bundles to? Find something that you're passionate about, an organization that you're passionate about. If you are passionate about this organization or have a connection with this organization, you are more likely to make a difference. And also, when you share that passion in your community, people are going to feel connected to you and they're gonna feel that passion from you and they're gonna to wanna to make a difference with you and be more likely to donate. If you don't have a specific organization in mind, think about an area you would like to make a difference in. Is it domestic violence survivors? Is it healthcare workers? Is it teachers? Find that specific area you wanna to donate to and then go to Google. Type in domestic violence shelters and several will pop up and then you can reach out to them, um, the one that you feel most passionate about and ask, what is it that you most need in your organization? Or I have these hand sanitizers, would they be useful to you? More than likely, they're gonna say yes. And once you've made that connection, you feel that passion with them, you know you're gonna make a difference, you are ready to move on to step two. Step two, decide how you want to raise money. Do you want to make flyers and pass them out around town? Do you want to do all of the fundraisers electronically and raise money through a Facebook fundraiser or through Venmo or through PayPal? Um, don't make it too complicated. If you make it too complicated, it's gonna be harder for you to do. I prefer to set up Facebook fundraisers or accept money through Venmo. Um, with the Facebook fundraisers, you can put everything on Facebook, what you need, and then just share. People can click donate. I've got another YouTube video on how to set up a Facebook fundraiser, so check that out below. And it's super easy, but that's the easiest way I can collect money. Um, but you can also do Venmo, PayPal, you can go around town, collect money, but decide what way you're going to donate and then put it out there. Put out how people can donate. Step three, it's time to get started. Set up your fundraiser. Create a flyer on Canva or any other editing app you want. You wanna put the flyer or the products you're doing on the flyer so people can see what you're raising money for. Put the organization so they know who it's going to and how with PayPal, Venmo, Facebook fundraiser, cash check, however you're collecting money in a time frame so they know that you want to order all these products or donate all this money by a certain date. I'm giving it a time frame. Definitely will help you get more donations because it's a limited time thing. Make sure you donate by this date. And that also allows you to tell the organization, I will have these products to give to you by a certain date. Step four, get the word out. Share your fundraiser everywhere. Emails, texts, social media, um, flyers, go by local businesses, drop off the flyers. Some people will let you put out a jar and a flyer, or some businesses might want to donate as well. Do not just post one time on social media and expect the world to be changed by that one social media post. Chances that people are going to see that one post and make a difference are slim to none. You're going to have several that will see the post and automatically want to make a difference. Uh, but more than likely, people need to see it a couple times and people need to connect with you. They need to connect with the fundraiser. Share your heart daily. Post daily in your Facebook fundraiser. Share the flyer daily. Um, the pe When people see your passion, they'll see you're connected and they see that you're really wanting to make a difference and they are definitely going to feel that connection and want to make a difference with you. Step five, remember why you started this fundraiser. Remember your why. Remember why you wanted to make a difference. And when I did a fundraiser for Finley the Fox, he was a stuffed animal, we donated to a local domestic violence shelter, the we being my daughter and I. Um, the first few weeks I did it, I was so nervous to ask anybody for donations. I thought, ah, oh, this, what are they gonna say? Are they gonna say no? And then I got to think about why am I doing this? I'm not doing this for me. I'm not doing this for my family. I'm doing this to make a difference in the local community. I'm doing this to make a difference for that child that arrived at the domestic violence shelter in the middle of the night 
with nothing but the clothes on their back, the child that may need medical attention, the child that needs something to hug and hold on to and call their own. Once that light switch flipped and I remembered why I was doing this, I was able to ask anyone and everyone because I wasn't doing this for me. And if they said no to me, fine, moving along, we're going to ask somebody else. And by doing that, we were able to raise $4,000 to purchase Finley's for the local community. Um, it was it's such a blessing to be able to do that. My daughter and I even made it on the news. That was super fun. Um, but once you remember why you're doing this, it will fuel you. It will keep you going because there will be times when people are not donating or maybe the donations aren't coming in as fast as you want. If you quit, you're giving up on the organization. You're giving up on your local community. So don't quit. Keep going. Keep your passion going. Remember your why and just stay consistent and be persistent. Once you've completed your fundraiser, you're ready to order your products, you're ready to make a difference, connect with the organization, set up a drop-off, make sure you take a pictures and post a thank you from the organization or to your local community, to everyone that donated, thank them for making a difference. And congratulations, you just made a difference in your community and you'll be fueled to do it again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and be sure to like and subscribe and you can find more information on fundraisers on my website, Embracing the Curls. Thanks for watching.